In addition to it being accessible, you need to be have the muscle memory and comfort of grabbing it quickly either out of your bag, your purse, or if you're carrying it on a hip holster, so you get muscle memory from practicing. So that has to happen, so in a moment of stress, you can do that and you're, you have the fine motor skills to best protect you. Then, let's grab the product, let's take a look at it. You need to be familiar with it. The end of the product is what you want to put into the attacker. That's where the, electric, the electricity is at. That's what causes the intolerable pain. Um, as far as functioning the product, you want to test fire it periodically just to make sure it's fully charged, it's working well. And you're going to do that in just half second bursts. While it may seem cool to deploy it continuously for a longer period of time, that can actually damage the product. So you don't want to do that. And then last, if your stun gun has a flashlight feature, be familiar with how to use that product as well. If you can't use both the flashlight and the stun gun together, you want to be able to quickly know how to move back and forth from one product to the other.